Hi everyone, this is T here. This is episode 83 of the End AIDS series that I began December 1st, World AIDS Day 2021. Last year, it is February 21st, um, uh, 2022. And it is Southern Time, Fundu Southern Time Productions Funding Drive 49, day 49 since I started that. A lot to remember there. <laughs> Just going to keep track. I might I'll probably get this wrong a few times. Uh, but whatever. It, um, it's for posterity, right? And uh, I'm going to do this every day until no one ever dies from AIDS again. Or shouldn't. Then, you know, like maybe there's mistakes or things like that, but nearly no one ever dies from AIDS again. And that would mean HIV cure, actually. So if no, that ultimately ending AIDS so never there's no disparity healthcare services everyone has the best optimal healthcare that's present in the world these days in the developed countries um, if you can afford it or if you happen to live in a country that has universal healthcare like Canada that does but even with that there's more factors that go into it like if it wasn't for my retired parents who were you know you know, they that income, like they weren't struggling for money, so they could they could come to the hospital every day, and you know they had good pensions and they had savings, so they could take care of me. And if it wasn't for them, I would be dead, even with the universal health care in Canada. So all those things, but but what would end AIDS is HIV cure, and um, you know, and then that goes into the whole. Germ, the whole theory of disease, whether it's germ theory or terrain theory, right? Because uh, the HIV virus is much like fusion energy. It's always, oh, we're, we're going to get there in five years in the case of a vaccine. They started, the first vaccine was in the 1990s, and, you know, it was, oh, okay, we're going to get it next time, we're going to get it next time. And still, you know, 30 years later, it's still not there. So, um, because maybe they're looking at, at why people, what they think is HIV is really something else, you know, and people are dying from AIDS from multiple factors, right? So, um, Luc Montani, the inventor of HIV, who just passed away a couple of weeks ago, um, yeah, was, was in the early, in the early World AIDS Conference, I think 1990, said that, um, HIV does not necessarily uh, can cause AIDS on its own. On its own, there has to be other factors, and one can develop AIDS without HIV. That's what's his belief. And um, other scientists, medical scientists, that had different views than the mainstream narrative, right? So, you know, we think we know it all. The mainstream, the powers that be, want to think that, us to think they know it all, but they don't. And maybe they do, and they're they're pushing a certain narrative because it increases their power and control over us, right? So, if we really want to end health, social, and environmental concerns in a world, we have to stop being so naive, right? And, and realize our own power. There's much more of us normies than there are of them, the few people who have power, money, power, and control, right? So, um, we create our own prison or we create our own uh, utopia. It's up to us, really. We are more powerful than we think we give ourselves credit for, I believe. Anyways, um, so, uh, yeah, update. So, I had two uh, great conversations, especially with one potential CFO, Chief Financial Officer for Southern Tech Productions. And he's interested. I'm sending sent to my business materials and... He's, we're going to have another talk tomorrow night. And, uh, yeah, I think this guy might be the guy. And, uh, yeah, get this balling. I, he knows investors. So, this is turning out to be very happy. Also, last night, I had an amazing jam with, the, with um, Bryant. His birthday was Valentine's Day. I mentioned that in an earlier video. And uh, is on Valentine's Day, but he wasn't able to have a he usually has a house party jam with other musicians and potluck and just party and uh so he does it every year 
and uh, so this was his birthday celebration, and, uh, and it was such a great jam. I brought my cello and talked to both my uh, vib vibraphone player, Mark Hondavad for Southern Time Band, and also our new drummer that I discovered last year, who recorded on Southern Time video song uh, that we recorded last year. And, um, and he, yeah, and had a great conversation with him. So, talked to Bryant again today, and we decided Bryant, um, Charlie Ringus, and the drummer, and me are going to write a song, a really kick ass song. And that will be proof of concept because that'll be get us traction for a company. And so, yeah, next month, I want to find an investor making it happen. So, um, yeah, there'll probably be. 25 more or so episodes of the Sun Time Productions Funding Drive part, but uh, and AIDS will keep going until there's HIV care. Alright guys, take care.